All right, so I'm just getting ready to install this new LED strobe light bar I just got. This thing looks awesome, super thin, exactly what I wanted. I didn't want a big old hunking light bar up on top of there. But anyways, I got this from, uh, it's the first time shopping with them, but LED Outfitters. And this here is the Micro Slim Ultra Mini Light Bar. So it does have the amber and white flash pattern on it. And I'll show you guys that at the end of the video if I get it all done. But basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount it on this new back rack I got. Um, I'm getting into a kind of work that where I need a strobe light and I just don't want a big old honking thing on there and I don't really want a big headache rack either. So I'm gonna make some mounts where it hooks on there. Um, this one that I bought did come with the magnetic feet on it, which is great and all, but I don't plan on taking this thing on and off. And my past experience with the magnets is after a while, they just, they pop off. Um, I've had them fly off before. I've actually almost broke a back window that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, it's really easy. I'm just gonna take these brackets off and I'm gonna make some brackets to where these actually take the magnet off and bolt this bracket to a bracket that I make that I'm going to bolt to that rack. So I think that'll be a better deal. Um, I really like this light. It's super thin. That's way better than like what I got there on the skid steer. Um, so I, think I just, I just don't like the way they look. I need the function of the, the strobe light, but I don't want you to really see it until, you know, obviously I turn it on. So anyways, I'll get to uh, wiring this thing up and uh, show you guys how I do it. This is a uh, 2021 Ram 3500. So if you have the upfitter kit in the truck, I'm gonna go ahead and use some of the pre-existing wire. So you don't know how to do that. I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. I'm just gonna need two of these guys. Um, one of them's gonna be for power. The other is gonna be so I can change the flash pattern inside the truck. So anyways, let's get going. So this is what I came up with. Um, got a nice cut out, um, nice light aluminum. So that is gonna mount probably, probably like this, bam. On the headache rack. And and this, which is the foot, will bolt to that, which the light will be here. So, pretty simple. Um, went ahead and roughed it up a little bit. I'm going to clean the back side here a little bit more. But uh, we'll go throw some paint on this. And while we're doing that, we'll start on the wiring. All right. So, I got it all mounted up on there. Use those brackets that we made. All right. So, it's day two. Light is mounted. Um, didn't get to finish last night. I had some stuff come up. But the wiring that comes with it, uh, it's, it's pretty long. But... It's like made just to run right in the cab in the cigarette letter. So as you can see, it's just not long enough to go up under through the firewall, um, along the firewall, into that Ram Outfitter plug. So what I'm going to do, I have, I always keep stuff like this, scrap stuff like this. Um, this is from when I wired a trailer, which is another video on my channel if you want to watch. But I had this stuff left over. Um, it's a little bit bigger gauge than this stuff. Actually, it's a lot bigger, but... Not a big deal. We'll go. We'll get it all soldered on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and extend this wire. Don't mind the uh, wood burner sound there. It's pumping some hot air in here. It's uh, actually zero degrees today. So, anyways, uh, we're gonna get that spliced and then we'll go ahead and get this wired into the truck. So here we go. All right. So I got everything all put together there. I just used these. These are a crimp connector with a built-in heat shrink. They work really well. Um, I was gonna solder it, but for this application, I don't think it's gonna be necessary. So went ahead and. Uh, Connected all three, went ahead and staggered the joints so that I could slide this tubing over it. Um, always make sure you put some kind of tubing on it beforehand. So I'll slide that over it, heat shrink that together, and then that'll be a nice wa uh, water seal deal. It shouldn't corrode. So being it's going to be all zip tied up and everything, I'm not worried about it. These connections being bad anyways. So as long as I keep the moisture out. Uh, all right, so let's get that all permanently attached. Get the heat shrink uh, shrunk up on there. Um, and then we'll start zip tying it up on the frame rail and get it hooked up. Bam. Just like that, we got the heat shrink on there. Let's finish it up. All right, to connect it on this 2021 Ram, we got the outfitter package in this truck. I'm gonna use this here. This is the plug-in that um, basically you tie into that activates all the switches inside, and I'll show you that at the end. But um, you can see I got a couple accessories already ran in here, but there's still two more ports that I can use. So I'm gonna use those two other ports and tie into this, and then I'm gonna use the outfitter, outfitter wires that it comes with um, under the back seat to tie into that. So you plug these two things into those extra ports and then tie these wires into there. And then obviously one of them is gonna be a ground, which I'm gonna use this body bolt here that has other grounds on it. So that's it. All right, so I got everything wired in to the uh, auxiliary port there. Um, here's two little plugs that you pull out before you shove those pre-terminated connectors in there. So take those out, plug those other two in there, make sure they face the right way. They'll click right in, no big deal. Tuck your wires up, ground it. Now the fun part, now we get to try it out. Um, we gotta do a little bit of uh, tuning in here though we gotta basically make the switches do what we want because they are programmable so we'll go ahead and uh, go through that process now all right so now that we're in the truck let's go ahead and program these switches if you don't know how to do this on the ram 
um, with the auxiliary outfitter switches, it's real easy. So basically the way I got that wired up there, um, auxiliary one should turn the line on. So let's try it. As you can see, the light is on. Um, auxiliary two should actually change the flash pattern, but the problem is it stays on. When it stays on, the light goes off. So we need to change the settings in that. We don't want the auxiliary two to stay on. We want it basically be like a horn button. So we're gonna go ahead and change that. It's not a big deal. Um, to do that, hopefully you guys can see this through my phone, but basically we're gonna go down here. We're gonna find in your settings menu, you don't have to have the truck running. It should just be sitting and run. Um, we're gonna go to commercial settings you're gonna click over the pin on these trucks factory is all zero so you're just gonna click over a couple times just like that and then you're gonna come to this hopefully you can see that it actually says auxiliary switches uh, it's kind of hard to see it through the phone but you're gonna click on auxiliary switches you're gonna head over and you're gonna pick which switch you want to work on so basically right now it's on one one is set up the exact way I want it one comes on without the truck running I want it I want the uh, the light to be able to run without the truck running. So I'm gonna leave that alone. But two, we gotta change that. Um, I hit the wrong button there. So we'll go down to two. We're gonna slide over. If you push over, it'll actually take you into two. I'm trying to rest my phone where it'll show you. So a couple options here. You got type, you got power source. Um, so we're gonna go down to power source. We're gonna slide over to that and we're gonna leave it on battery because we want. You can change it to ignition if you want. Um, those are your two options, but I'm going to leave it on battery. So we'll go back. We'll go back up to type. We'll slide over. And here's the here's the one we need to change. What, latching or momentary. The difference between the two is latching. Once you hit the button, it stays on. And momentary, obviously, is like a horn button. When you push it, it activates. When you let your finger off, it turns off. So those are the two options. We're going to change it to momentary. So we're going to hit that over. Setting saved. So we should be good to go. So we'll exit. That's all I got to do in here. Okay, so let's go ahead and try it and see how it lights up every time I push it and goes off. That's what you want. So basically, let's uh, let's try it out. So you can hear some dinging. Sorry about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and push off the one. I'll turn the light on. Oh, you don't know if you can see that. That light looks pretty good, don't it? The fan just kicked on, so it's going to get a little loud, but... So that's that flash pattern. Let's go ahead and go through the flash patterns real quick. Basically, the way this works is you got to hold this button until it goes off and then let go and that'll change it so I don't know if you can see that but every time I do that it changes the flash pattern so I don't know I'll go through here and try and figure out what my favorite is and probably just leave it on that but one option with this phone that I really liked I was able to have it to where the light bar just stayed completely lit the entire time Let's go ahead and see if we can't find that real quick. Just ignore the dinging real quick. I think it was that one there. Lucky guess. Yep, so that's that. Let's go ahead and shut this door. So as dumb as it may sound, if you need some outdoor lighting, you know, you're working on a machine or something like that, um, you can just go turn, turn the whole light bar on. So that's actually pretty cool. So. I'll come back and get some shots at night before I upload the video so you guys can kind of see how this light bar works. But this thing's pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. I really like it. It's pretty bright. 
It's nice and sleek right over the window there. But the nicest thing about the whole thing that I like the most, I don't like flaunting the fact I don't like one of the big old bulky light bars on there. So when I turn it off, you just walk back here like you're, you're falling behind me in a different car. Let me just look at it. You don't even see it's there. You know, how awesome is that? But if I go to pull over and work on something like that button and uh, suddenly I'm an emergency vehicle or I'm working on something. So pretty awesome, guys. I really like this product. I think they did a good job. We'll see how it holds up over the next years, couple years. Uh, I'll give you guys an update on it. If you have any questions, con comments, concerns, anything like that, go ahead and comment down below. I'll answer them as I can. Um, but yeah, that's the light bar. Really like it. So ledoutfitters.com That's where I got it. I'll uh, drop a link in the description below and... Uh, like I said, here's a here's some night footage of a, a light bar working at night. So, till next time, guys. See you later. There she is. As you can see, it's not even completely dark outside, but this thing is plenty bright. This flash pattern here, I went with. Uh, it's kind of my favorite. It kind of like rambles everything that it's got into one. It's kind of random. Um, really like that one. Really stands out compared to the other ones. So, but I'm really happy with this purchase. I think it went really well as far as price. Price was uh, pretty reasonable for the product you get. It seems pretty well built. Um, I've got like an Amazon LED one on the, the Yanmar there, and it's a decent quality, but this is obviously a lot better. Um, but I'll do a uh, year or two review after this, after it's been out in the elements and kind of give you guys an update on this uh, light bar. So, you know, subscribe to the channel or whatever, tune in and uh, see that. Um, other than that, I'll just leave a link in the description where I got this one, what size it is, all this and that. And uh, you guys can either use a cigarette lighter plug in that they provide or you can do it kind of like I did wired into your factory buttons um, either way uh, it was not hard at all and uh, pretty happy with it so anyways thanks for watching the video and until uh, next time I'll see you later